Well, hey everybody, how you all doing? Widdler Dave here. Well, I've got this snowman totally carved and everything, and I thought I'd jump on here and show you a few things I do and how I paint, and there's just a, a ton of work in him. He's totally unique. I like him. He's come out really good. I've actually drawn another one. He's going to be one of my newest ones I'm going to be doing, but we'll do a little painting on it and show you some of my process, I, I'm very funny about colors. I mix colors. I'm, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist. I'm picky about colors. So, anywho, let me get you back down here. You don't want to look at the old man. Hang on. Using my small tripod today, so we can try to, get, you know, I need. I, I'm going to be getting the one that goes over the head. So let's just say the tree. You see the tree and all that. But what I do, Amazon, about 20 bucks or so, we're going to add some love to it. So add a little burn. Don't burn your pinkies. Please don't. Don't burn the house down. Just add a little love. I normally don't like to do much burning in the shop because it'll get smoky in here. A lot of times I'll go outside, but it's raining. Can you believe that? It's raining. We've been needing the rain, so it's a raining. La da da. Let's get a little burning. I, I will burn the back, but bleed over from the paint. We'll, uh, I like to sand it, and then I like my carvings clean. I do. And I've carved the. Turn this thing around. I've carved the, the tree. Or the, the, you know, the, to make it look like it had bark and stuff on it. You know, got all that car. Now, I won't paint this. I have a stain that I've made up that will go down into the cracks and just makes it really highlight and everything. Move that rag. We don't need the fire. Oop, missed the pedal. One right there. Now, I've got a green that's I made up. I'm gonna show you what I do with this. It's not that hard, folks. Not that hard. A little bit more love right there. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, alright. Don't touch that. That'll give you a permanent ouch. A permanent ouch. Let's move Mr. Snowman for a minute. Cause he's, I don't need him to have some slopped on green. I got the base all drilled. You see the hose? I don't, I don't uh, cheapen anything. I'll put screws into all mine. Then you don't have to worry about it falling apart. No, some. Now, this is the love jar. <laughs> you know, love jar. I, I make up paints. I like, I like to make paints. I like to manipulate paint. I, I said I'm an artist. I can't help with them. I can't shut my brain off, you know. So I like to mess with paints. You know, paints come out of out of the out of the bottle. It just doesn't thrill me. So I like to, you know, you gotta realize I didn't, you know, I can tell you about. I didn't grow up with the modern world. All right, throw some water on this thing. Don't matter. We don't want it to be solid. You know, we're gonna do do this after we get it dry. Thing, I'll walk over it with some sandpaper to bring some of the wood grain back. You know, everybody knows this stuff. This ain't a rocket scientist to do this. You know? Not a science, you know, not at all. So I saw a little love on it. Little love. Get some of this paint that I mixed up. Now, we're going to cover it really good. We're going to cover this thing really good. You see that, folks? Uh, let's move this jar. Come on, Dave. Move your jar. I can't see. You gotta holler at me, you know? <laughs> Gotta holler at me. Hey, move your jar. All right, sorry. I had to move the jar. Like I said, let me get on here. I think what I'll do, I remember now. I do paint this. I forgot. So let's just add a little bit of love right here. Told you, no one's perfect. Get this off. There you go. Get water off. There you go. Yeah, I'll add some more love. We'll run the green around. It's just going to look better. Alrighty. 
We're adding some more love. Very simple, folks. Get you one of these torches. All right. Back to painting. Whoop, whoop. Slap that stuff on. Come on. Get her on there. Don't, don't fret over it. Get her covered. You know, just get her on there. Just get her. That's all you got to do. Put that stuff on there. I've always mixed up colors. Because, you know, back then, I told you, back when I was a kid, there was no big box stores. There was definitely no Walmarts. And, you know, when you're living out in the sticks, well, you weren't, you know, we didn't know, I didn't know what all this fancy stuff was. So I just go out and I used to play with berries. And said, hey, look, it stained my hand. Oh, well, that meant that, uh, I can make a collar out of it because it would stain my hand and my clothes and stuff. So I still do that sometimes. You know? All right, we're just like I said, we're just going to slap this paint on. This ain't the final. This ain't the final. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I think we're going to be getting some of that hurricane weather that's hitting Texas and stuff. And it'll eventually trickle its way down through here. But, you know, we don't need bad storms, but we do need rain. You know? We do. All right. Don't get it on the tree. You gotta slow down right here. Slow down. Whoop, whoop. Slow down. Yep. Get a smaller brush here in a minute. Okay. There you go. There you go. That's good enough. And, yeah. Yeah. Let's get this. We'll grab a paper towel here, folks. I'll tell you what. I buy so much paper towel, somebody should sponsor me, and I'll do a paper towel commercial. Because I, I go through tons and tons and tons of paper towel. Now, you see how that black... hope you can see that. See that black come through. After I burned it, it brings that black through there, and it just... It gives me my look. I'm sharing you a lot of secrets, folks. Everybody wanted to see how Whittler Dave, how he creates his stuff. Well, now you're seeing it. You got to take you, take a little love, take a little love. Get a smaller brush. All right. Take it down here where the tree is. Yes, and cut that baby doll in. Yes, and. This is going to be a neat one. I like this one. I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See? Wipe some of that out. And like I said, you can just... It, it's, you can just come in here and hit your stuff. Get some of that paint off. And just kind of hit it. You know? Just knock some of that off. Get some of them, them petals. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Yes, and get on that back. Go, you know. Just get you some love there. Knock some of that off. Now, that tree is about done. Get some more love on the sides here. And I make a stain that I'll go over this. And it'll fill in some of these areas that I've taken off. And it just really will change a look. Now, I don't know. Let's get this up here where you can see. All right. So, see? There's the tree. And you can see how the black is showing through and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And the back side. There it is. See how that... Some of the wood grain showing through, and there's some of the black. Well, that's all done with the torch. Torch, and a little love, and a little this, and a little that. And you got, you don't have to fret over it. You don't have to worry about it. You know, it's, you want it to look old-fashioned. You want to look like Grandma gave you this, and she's had this for 40 years. That's how I like my stuff. Yeah. All right. That tree's done. Let's look at it again. Get you back up here. See? The other tree is done. You know, we'll stain the uh, bottom half to bring that out and everything. Uh, 
Yep, it, it you know, get you back up here. There you go. Okie dokie. Um, let's work on the snowy man. You know, let's get you back up here where you can see it. Now, there's the snowman. It's all carved. It's all done. And everything. So, where's my torch? Let's put this thing away because we don't want a green mess. Uh-uh. Lord, no. Let's go put this right over here. How do I know that? Because I have spelt it before. And I got to make... I, I need to make up some more. I, I, I uh, use different paints and stuff. So, I've got to make up some more. All right. Let's get you where we can see. All right. So, we're going to fire the torch up in. Give this a little love. Give this a little love. There you go. There you go. There you go. Don't worry about if it bleeds off on the snowman. You'll be fine. You know, you're going to be painting it white anyway. A little love right here. A little love right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Now see? We've got it all burned and stuff. There you go. Let's clean our brush out. I'll tell you what, I, I just bought brushes the other day because I have a tub of very wore out used brushes. It's all the dabbing and I don't buy expensive brushes. It is just stupid to buy expensive brushes. So I save all my wore out brushes until I cannot use them. They're so stiff, I can't use them anymore. Now, let's make sure she's cleaned out. I use my skin. There we go. I don't see anything bleeding through. Yeah. There you go. She's clean. Now, I just mixed up a little red. I got some black. Oh, meat trays. You know, when you get your meat, you know, you buy pork chops, hamburger, all that. Don't buy anything fancy. You already own it. You know, meat trays. Wash them out. There you go. All right, let's put some love right here. Get some of this red right here. I like that barn burnt red on, on my stuff a lot. You know, and I just mixed a little bit of red and black together. I've got black on here. Oops, didn't want it that red, but that's fine. There's some red right here. Yeah. Yeah, let's get some red right there. Nothing, you don't have to be fancy. Get the stuff on. Because you can, you can cut it in exactly right when you start doing your finish. This is just to get it on, get it mopped in. You know, get it close. Come in after you... You know, start your other stuff and, and get it, uh, cut, cut all your detail in, in a few minutes. You know, I'm hoping that this is working out and you can see some of the stuff I do. But I'll show you the, the gnomes here in a minute. So I just, you know, I am on Instagram and stuff like that, so... You know, I do have, I do post, I'm starting to post more pictures on Instagram. There they, now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to paint his scarf to match. You know, you got to think, this is where you're outside playing and uh, your neighbor down the street had a red cap and neighbor down the street may have had a, a blue scarf or whatever. It's, it's supposed to be fun, you know? So whatever you had, you just... You brought up and you stuck it on the snowman. You didn't have matching stuff, so it don't have to match. Remember that. It does not have to match at all. Now, when I paint in the house, one of the tricks that you can do is you can turn your oven on on the lowest heating. Mine's uh, 170. is about as low as it'll go. And then you can put a piece of tinfoil in there and slide these in there for a few seconds and let's add some black. See, look, I got a little black. Let's just add some shadows here. And then take your hand and rub it around and just make it look like it's old and wore out. Get your rag and wipe, wipe, wipe. There you go. There should be a shadow point right here. But anyhow, I'll stick this into the oven and I will uh, heat it and it will dry the wood, dry it extremely fast. Now, see, that looks like it's just old and wore out. Let's get you back up here where you can see. See? That's your hat right there. Hi, folks.
That's your hat. Right there. Very simple. I'm telling you. Don't beat yourself up. Just don't. All right. Let's just see here. Uh, da, da, da. What color do I want next? Let's, oh, I like this. Let's mix up some of this right here. No, no it's too close to the red. That's going to clash. You got to watch your collars because you can make them clash. Where, you know, you get, you get a red and you get another, another color that is uh, a red. And it, it, there's two reds. To me, it clashes if you're trying to. So we're just going to get some thick paint here. And I got some black there. What in the world is wrong with you? Oh, this is the one that I need to clean the lid out. Yes, yeah, some the lid. Oops, 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 oops. That's way too much. All right, hang on. Let's clean the brush out. Way too much. Man, that's enough paint there to paint a barn. Put it back in there. Way too much. I need to clean that lid out. I had I was using this the other day, and I noticed right then it was not wanting to come out. We're gonna do a purple scarf. So you got a red hat, something fan, fan, fancy. You know, here's what here, this is what I'm saying, folks. Right here, no one's perfect. Remember that. We all have little boo boos and mistakes. Who cares? You know, who cares? You know? All right. Yeah, I'll put it back in the bottle. Now I'm going to take some of this black I got right here. I'm just going to kind of play with it right there. All right, let's see what she looks like. She is too dark. Let's go back to the purple. All right. I like that. Got so we're going to pull the black out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just sneaking that old black back out of there. And then I have another color I'm going to be putting on this to give it a little love sparkle. Yeah. And we'll do the edges here in a minute. See, now, you know, he's got a purple uh, scarf. I like him. This would have been a fun one. This is me trying to sleep in the, you know, I was thinking about this thing while I was trying to sleep. I'm always thinking about something. Yeah. Always in. I mean, this ain't this ain't done. I've got another color that goes on top. I dry brush a lot. Uh, a lot of dry brushing in my uh, painting. So I will dry brush another color on the hat and the scarf. There's a lot of carving on this scarf. So I will bring out a lot of the, the doodaddies that I have added by dry brushing it. All right now it's just going, where's my neck? Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I want all that. Yes. Soften that up. Now, let's get you back up here. See the scarf? I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's some of the black showing through. All that. You know, I, I, I thinned it down, wiped it down. All that stuff. So... Let's see here. Nope, this brush is not the greatest. Let's get to this brush. I told you, I wear these brushes out. I have a piece of plywood right here, and just, you know, it's just, uh, we're out. Now, don't worry about your white, because your white's a lighter color. Paint your solids in first. If you get on your body where your white is, do not worry about it. You'll cut it right in. I have a cut-in brush. These are all wore-out brushes. They're all bent and everything, and that's fine. That's what I want. And we're just we're just going to get this color in here. Your the, your solid primary colors that you've mixed. There's a little black. Put a little shadow right here. There you go. You now it's peering around. So get all them in there. Don't you know? Try to keep it. You know, not all over the where the white goes. It's just going to take more white paint. But, you know, don't worry about it if it, you know, if it gets on there because you'll cut that in. You're going to cut that in. See, I use my fingers. You know, that's why my hands are always, always got paint on it. Don't be bashful. You know, don't be bashful. Nope. 
Yeah. There you go. And the little black right here, and we're not, so I want it to look like it's got a shadow right there. Get a little bit more black. There you go. Some black there, there. Now let's go back over this to get some purple added to it. And wipe some of it out. Like I said, I got another thing I'm going to be doing to this. This one's some purple hints. Yes. Get the sides see I, where I carved it at. I get right down through there. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Can you see, folks? Let's get you up here where maybe where you can see better. All right. Let's see, all I'm doing is just kind of lining that up right there. Sorry about my hand. Yep, sorry about my hand. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Alright. Got the purple. The Urkel is what I called it. Urkel. I always used to call purple Urkel. Told my kids, oh, you're wearing Urkel today. They all would look at me like I was nuts. Maybe I was. Yeah. I mean, I sometimes on some of my really fine detail carvings, yeah, I, I don't, I have to be extremely picky of how I paint them in, but this here does not have to be. We're just wanting to get it covered. That's all we're wanting to do. We're just wanting to get it covered. We'll paint the, the, the dark primary colors first, cut the lights in second. It will not take that long. Got to hold your mouth right. I used to tell people. Alright. We got the hat roughed in. And everything. And there, you know, the hat's not done. There's another collar after it. You know, I will dry brush into the scarf. All this. This all will get dry brushed. Yeah. Totally cool, folks. Love it. You know. Yes, I do. Alrighty. What am I color I'm going to. It's not. Uh, da, da. Let's see here. Um, oh, let me thank you. Hang on, folks. I'm thinking of a collar. Something that'll pop. Something. Oh, this is this one pop. Make him really stand out. Yeah, because I could do top and bottom. Okay. I'm not gonna. Mix this one. I'm going to pull out, out. I don't pull too much out of a bottle, but every once in a while I will. I may pull. Well, I am going to dry brush on this. Like I said. I'm going to dry brush. And, you know, dry, you know, and everything. And I'll add, a, I'll add another collar on top of this to change it up. And everything. Hey, she's clean. She is clean. Let's add this. Oh, yeah, she's going to pop. Fun colors. Whimsical. That's the word that I like. Yeah. This whimsical. Yeah. Cover up that rail. I have to have a couple coats right there, but that's fine. That's fine. You'll hear me say it again. No one's perfect. Yeah, I've been using these meat trays for years. Because, you know, I people go out and they buy all that stuff from other stores and all them fancy trays and spend all that money. When you just bought a package of hamburger and you come home and it's already got a... It's got your... Um, your, your painting board right there, all built in with the hamburger. Just wash it. And done. Now, see, I'm not, you know, and just, it's easy that way. You see right here what I'm doing? I'm not cutting it in close to the red. I'm going to leave a very small line. Because both paints will react. So, the red's got to dry. Just get it close. 
and stop. It, it will react with the green and you can turn it a different color. How do I know that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, see? He's going to be cool looking. He's going to have a multicolor hat. Like I said, just because when you're out playing, when we were kids, we didn't worry about, you know, if it matched. So, why should they match here? You know? All righty. There he is. You think he's going to look pretty cool? Now, let's see. How now, said the brown cow. Oh, mercy. Oh. Let's grab this collar here. I want to, it's, a, it's a metal paint. Got some sparkle darkle to it. You know? So, all right, we need to leave them brushes alone. They need to soak totally clean out. So, hang on, folks. And that's what they got to do. First, need a brush. I like that one. I had some more love on top of this. Another color. It's going to change the look. It's, it's two purples, but it just gives you that more de deeper look. Yes, sir. Yeah, lucky there now. You can really tell that one. You can. Let me get a little black here. I'll put some of these shadows back in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I like that. I do. I think that one's, you know, I, like, I, like, I love snowmen. You'll hear me say that all the time. I like to paint snowmen, carve snowmen. I've always, always been fascinated with snowmen. Like what I'm doing is I'm just kind of do a little dab, pull it out. Get some this other darker purple. There you go. Yes, sir. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. May do a, just a white ball on the top, like an off-white. And then I'll put some uh, sparkle into that. Let me go grab another paint. Well, it's going to do it over here, but... Uh, the light above my shop puts a shadow over here. So, I set up over here to try to show you guys a little bit of what I do and stuff. Because I tried it over there a while ago and it just kept putting a shadow. And then I thought, well, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. So, I came over here and covered up my table saw and everything and... Done it over here. Like I said, you just get close. Because you got to let all this paint dry. I've added a lot of collars and everything, so you just got to let everything dry. Don't put the cart before the horse. See that right there turned pink. Because I got into a wet spot of red. But it don't matter this. There you go. I just, I'll blend that in. And let it dry. You're going to have that little top hat part white. You know. Other than that. The body. The body. Uh, it, it needs to dry now. It needs to dry. Put you back over here. And everything. Let's see here. 
it's just let me look at the base the base you see how i've got it all carved you know and everything got the whole base all carved and everything got some chatter card and what i did is i left it flat right here so the so the tree will sit down nice and flat right here and the snow will sit down nice and flat right here i've already pre-drilled is i recessed the screws this thing is ready to go so let me get you back that way turn the old hot fiery on let's add some love add some love You know, it's funny. I was on some social media and they said, hey, we got something new. Use this torch and burn your wood. It's like, uh, that's not new. Sorry, folks. Us old farmers and kids that grew up around farms and stuff, we were burning fence posts and sticking them in the ground. So it would, it would, it would seal it and take less time to rot, too. It would take, you know, well, more time. To, you know, it would give you more time everything sealed a lot of them and then i've even wrapped it with tire i would take a liquid tire we'd heat our tire and we would put it on the log after we burned them and everything and covered them all with tire and that way it uh oh it's hot it uh would seal it from bugs and rotting and would allow moisture so it's not it, the torch burning is not new it's been out for a long time and the way i did it back when i was a kid i would build a fire outside and i torched that way i didn't know what they didn't have these things right here lord no remember i, I grew up in a non-modern world none in other words i had to learn to create myself all right, we're just going to get some basic white out. Because what I do, you know, I want this to look like it's he's standing or sitting on uh, some snow. You know? So, and I don't want it, I want it like dirty snow. So that's why I burned it. All right, let's get you up here because I know you can't see this because I got it. See? I'm just going to cover it in snow. Because so, I want it to look like it's just old, dirty snow. Let's see. Go. I need a little water. And see, I can push this. Let's add a little water to that. But I, I don't want it to be solid. I want it to bleed through. And then you can just come in here and you can just... There you go. And you get that look. You get that look. It highlights all that. Kind of go back over it. Just a smidgy and diggy and thisy and thatty. And there you go. All right, we need to get a different tray because I need to put some paint on a cleaner tray. There we go. That tray right there, what's going to happen is if you keep putting paint on this, all the paints that you've mixed on here, you may get into it and then you'll bleed it into your your uh, your painting and then, you, then you're going to be really aggravated. And like I said, how do I know this? Huh? Everything I'm telling you folks, I've done. I have done. It's like, why'd you do that? Like, I don't know. You know, I don't really know. Why did I do that? Don't know. I knew better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. I did. But am I perfect? Well, I understand that, but you know, did you know you now you gotta fix it. Like, yeah, I will. If I messed it up, I can fix it. I designed it, made it, built it, carved it, so it's mine, so I can fix it. You know, I can fix this thing easy if it have a little mistake or, because I, I I'm the, I'm the builder. I am the builder. There you go. So we're just adding some little love, and then we'll add some more love. I'm hoping this is going to help some people. You know, without you being literally here with me, where I could, you know, just kind of lead you more and stuff and tell you, like, okay, try this trick. 
you're not. You know, everything that you're seeing is I taught myself, and that's why a lot of my carvings and stuff are totally different. They're painted different. They stand out differently. Because it's just how I am. There you go. That base is done. Let her dry. Let her dry, and then I'll add probably, I may dry brush that one after, after she dries. Don't know yet. Don't know. But anywho, you know, there's that. You know, we showed you some of that. The, the snowman I can't do anything else with until it dries. There is nothing else I can do. It has to dry because what's going to happen, like I said, I'm going to be pulling car other collars into the collars I don't want to pull into. Because it just, sometimes you got to take the right hand and slap the left hand and the left hand and slap the right hand, you know? And I've got all kinds of bottles of paint that I have blended together. And I, I tell my wife that you better let me pick the paint out and check it. Because it's probably blended. It's probably been remixed. Because like I said, I'm extremely picky about paint. I am. I can help it. Alright, we're just going to play with a little tree that I carved and everything. Let's put some love on it. You know, we're just going to put some love on it. Just a simple little tree. You know, and I'll put him on a little board. I don't know if I'm going to put any, I, you know, sometimes I'll do these and I'll put a little deer on them. Just standing there beside it. You know, I don't know, carve a little miniature snowman. It really don't, I just don't know. Hasn't spoke to me. You know, this is actually a cutoff. You know, I, thin, I thinned a tree down last year and I saved this piece and I seen it this year. And I'm like, well, let's just carve her up. This was a cutoff. The tree that I did last year was way too thick, so I just cut it off, and I saved this little piece. I thought, well, I'll make something out of that eventually. Well, this year I did. I carved it, and here it is. You know? There it is. There we go. You know, when I, when I mix this green up, it's it's in my head. And I know when I get it right. Alright, see? Just a simple little tree that I carved, you know, cut out last year. I, it, was a, it was a thicker tree, and I, I cut it. It was too thick, so I sliced it on the bandsaw. Ended up with this little sliver here. And I thought, well, I'll eventually make something. Like I said, there it is. Very simple. Very easy. All that good stuff. And like I said, it's just, uh, woodworking's fun, folks. It's, it's a love and passion. Don't beat yourself up. There's no one perfect. It's, it's just a love and passion. Look at this color here that I've made up. Look at that color. I, I, ain't that pretty? That's going to be pretty. I'll put that on something. Probably a snowman hat, whatever. I got paint out. Okay, this is the piece of co that goes on it, the snowman's body. You know, just... Irregular because Co is not perfect. So let's go ahead and knock this out. Knock this out. There you go. Good. That's the worst thing about my some of my carvings. It's painted in pieces. And then you got to put it together without getting glue all over it. See? Piece of Co. Very simple. Like I said, my hands, I'm an artist. I've always got my hands into something. Always got paint on it. It's, it's there's just something, 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 something. Well, I'm hoping that you know you've seen some things I do. I'm not done with the snowman. Like I said, I got to come in here and let let all the hat and stuff dry and everything. And this will be all white. We can add a little love white on that right now, just to speed that up if you want. And it's just white. There's no, it's just white. That's all it is. I don't buy, I try not to buy a high dollar paint because what I, 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 I go through so much paint 
And then I mix so much. I change colors so much. There's no sense of going out and buying that really high, high dollar paint. Just touched it. Let's fix that. There you go. It's Where's my purple? Got to fix this mistake, folks. I got too close. I was jaw jacking. I'm sorry. You know? Like I said, there's just no one perfect in this world. We all have a little oopsies. I mean, that's why you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it that way. Whoopsies. Hey. Let's just get some of this white added in right here. We'll get close. Like I said, that up there is really wet, so I can't get close with the white at all. But we can do this, and then tomorrow when it finally dries and sets here, then I can come in here and I can cut all the little doodaddies and stuff and everything and get it all where it's right. I gotta clean it. See, when it bleeds over on the back, right through here, I'll sand all the back and then I'll lightly burn the back. And then there it is, it's done. It's sealed and done. Alrighty. Well, I'm liking that a lot. Like I said, this will be all the face right here. A lot of work about I I can't really hold on to it right now. My got big old fat fingers. This one had a wormhole in it, folks. Right there, it's a little wormhole, and I left it. To me, that's beauty. You're like, what is that? Well, that's where Mr. Worm went. Oh, no, 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 no. Crawled through the wood. Yep, I left it. All right, you got you can see it's roughed in. It is very rough in, and then like I said, I carved a little wooden nose. So, there's this little wooden nose, and right there, see it? Just, this little wooden nose. Yeah, he's going to be pretty. I like him a lot. I already drawed another one, and I'm probably going to make uh, four of these for the show. I don't know yet. Probably make about four of them, so... Anywho, I did a little painting. Everybody was wanting to do this. Let's get you up here so you can see me. I did a little painting and stuff and tried to help people out on that. But anywho, I thought I'd show it with you. Like I said, I am on Instagram. Uh, we're going to go on a thing called Thread. I don't know nothing about it. My wife does. Um, I've been posting pictures on Instagram. Tell your friends about that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out. Push that little notification button if you want to know when my videos pop up. We're trying to get better at this. We've got a lot of new things we've been talking about, me and Brian and everybody. So we want to say thank you. Uh, we love and uh, respect everyone that's been giving me comments. And I'll just talk to you later. Whittler Dave. Have a blessed day.